This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by... I was busy looking at this picture of this guy who walks around with only two-thirds of a head after cops caved his skull in when a much more important and accurate piece of media caught my attention. It's a new film, which I will not name, but I guess I will have to name one of the actresses who's in it. Thanks to Sandra Whitewash Bullocks, I now have a better, more correct image of what cops are really like. Or more accurately, what it is, o what it is okay for them to do. Until I watched parts of Sandra's new film, I was under the impression that the FBI was an institution that sends its bombing experts to investigate a drug case two days after the Boston bombing, or rather to testify in a drug case. I did not know that the FBI is primarily involved in just chasing serial killers and bad guys. I thought they were the guys who persecuted Martin Luther King and wouldn't let Charlie Chaplin in the country and protected Whitey Bulger while committing second-degree murder. I thought that cops were people who shoot kittens in front of screaming kids. I thought they were the people who grabbed me in the junk while arresting me for trying to follow their orders. Now, thanks to Sandra, it's still 1995, Bullock, I know better. I know that the cops are the good guys, and that everything they do is okay. Thanks to Sandra, nothing to see here, people, Bullock, I know that you don't have to worry about law enforcement sexually abusing a young woman in a courtroom while the judge plays in front of her daughters, or with her daughters, and ignores her screams for help. Thanks to Sandra, pro-government groupie Bullock, I've been able to change a lot of my thinking. I used to think that it was, I used to think that cops weren't supposed to kill suspects during initial interrogation. But now after watching Sandra Bullock's buddy do it, I know it's okay. I don't have to worry anymore about cops drop, dropping people from the seventh floor onto car roofs. It's no, it's no big deal anymore, because Sandra Bullock did it. I, I, maybe I'm being kind of hard on Sandra, since she's been busy making a different pro-federal movie that idealizes USSA cosmonauts. That's today's Ridley review. My first attempt at doing a movie review. It sucks, but it's probably better than most movie reviews. And Hollywood, you Hollywood woodwashers, you can shove it up your pro-government ass. Is it safe to assume that uh, you won't be corresponding with Homeland Security again? That's Dave Minson from the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance, meeting with New Hampshire's governor, fighting Real ID. He's just one of many hundreds who joined the Feisty Alliance and are making their mark on state government. Don't let these folks have all the fun. Do what I did. Join the Alliance and help us keep the State House in check. NHLiberty.org